When I started editing this video, I realized that Weha should have gotten more credit as they also make excellent drivers. Now, I will be reviewing some Weha drivers in the future. While the blades are comparable, personally, I like the Weha handle a lot more than Weha's. It just feels more comfortable and solid. The Weha is a few dollars more, like literally about three bucks. These two are my recommendations for most techs looking for a good screwdriver, so by all means, check them out. There are links in the video description and throughout this video. Who makes the best tools when it comes to phone repair? I was having a conversation with a viewer recently and we started talking about screwdrivers and I'm going to concentrate just on drivers for this video. So the sets that you see like these, they come from all sorts of different people. I mean, you, I'm going to be reviewing these individually so you can kind of see what they are. But more importantly, there are only probably about four or five hand tools as far as drivers go that most technicians will use on a regular basis. So I'm going to get to the short answer here. In my experience, the number one, and I mean the best quality, uh, most durable, just the best functionality overall is this one right here. And it's made by a company named Weera. The one that you're looking at right now is the 1460 Craftform Micro ESD Preset Torque Screwdriver. So what does all that mean? Well, if you're using a pentalobe driver and let's say you're taking some screws out of your iPhone, what you wanna make sure about is that you do not strip these screws. And if you get something inexpensive like this, yes, it can get the job done. And if it's a one-time repair, this is gonna be overkill for most people. But I wanna address what happens when a technician uses the same tool over and over. There's wear and tear, there's the comfort that you get from using something that you appreciate, and there's something that has durability factor, and that's what this is all about. This is just amazing in my opinion. And until I tried this, I really couldn't appreciate the difference, and it's gonna be very difficult for me to describe this to you, so I'm gonna show you the features. I can't tell you the difference between picking up this driver and this one, I mean, I can explain what it seems like to me, but you can't really get the feel of that through a video, obviously. So I encourage you, if you have the opportunity to check these out. First of all, they have a quick release mechanism down here on the bottom. All you do is flip this up and the bit comes out and you can switch over to your Phillips or your slotted or your pentalobe or whatever it is that you happen to be using. And once you release that sleeve, it locks into place. It has this little half moon design on the bottom and I don't know what the mechanism looks like on the inside, but I do know that it stays in place. Now, I've been using these Huskies from Home Depot forever, and they do get the job done. Once again, if you're a one-time or a casual phone repair tech, it's not a big deal. You don't need to spend a lot of money on a driver. You can get these at Home Depot for about $6 a piece, and they're also reversible at the bottom, which is cool because you've got your Phillips and you've got your slotted, and you can just flip these around. Now, they're held in by a tiny little button, and hopefully you'll be able to see this here, and that kind of locks it into place. The problem with that is over time they wear out, so eventually you'll have these bits just kind of fall out of the driver, and it can be annoying. So with this, you will not run into that problem. You've also got the top end that spins around. So if you need to apply some pressure, you can turn the driver and this will be stationary against your hand. And you've also got this hexagon design here that will keep it in place. There's nothing more annoying than be on being on your workbench and your driver goes rolling across and usually off of the edge of the table. That is absolutely not going to happen with this type of driver because of the way that it's designed. And also, again, I can't say enough about the way that this thing feels in your hand. It is just like night and day going from something like this or just anything else and picking this up. It's ergonomically designed, very comfortable to use and I can't say enough good things about it. I don't get compensation from any manufacturer for making review videos, but if you wanna help support my channel, do use the links in the video description if you decide to purchase one of these tools. I do get credit for that, and with any luck, maybe Weera will send me an official t-shirt, cause that's what I'm really after. If you don't need something this extravagant, Weera does make just some single drivers that have one size attached to them. So this, for example, is their Pentalo driver number one, and this will work on any iPhone. It's not designed for MacBooks. You need to have a larger size for those, but these things are just as comfortable as the 1460. I mean, they fit so precisely. You can just tell 
that stripping the screw is going to be nearly impossible unless you just apply too much torque or you're being really sloppy and that's as opposed to some of the other drivers that tend to wear out over time now they do have a couple different styles when it comes to the phillips they've got the regular and they have the japanese industrial standard so if and when you go to order them i do want to make sure that this is clear if you go with the 1550 style this is going to be a standard phillips that's a confusing term isn't it this is going to be a regular phillips i guess uh, pointed tip this is going to be the flattened tip that is the japanese industrial standard now the interesting thing about this is i had started recommending the jis bits because people were having trouble with stripping out the heads on their Samsungs. And I kind of attribute that to either low quality or worn out tools. But what I found with both of these, and this by the way, is a double zero. This is a triple zero. And these are the most common drivers that we typ typically will use for phone repair. Either one of these will work just fine for removing screws on the Galaxy series. And I've tried this on everything from a Galaxy S2 up to the Galaxy S6, and they do not slip. They grip, they're so precise in their design that they fit the screw so well, you can literally use either one of these for your repairs, and they are awesome. This driver comes with torque settings pre-installed from the manufacturer that is matched to what manufacturers of cell phones set them to. So to give you an idea, let me grab my iPhone. I want to demonstrate something here. So when these pentalobe screws and the internal screws are installed into a phone, they are set to a specific torque. Now, no driver that you buy off the shelf is going to give you those torque settings. You kind of have to do it by feel. And while it's not absolutely crucial that that accuracy is 100%, if you over tighten these screws, they will strip out and they are a real headache to deal with when that happens. So if you take a listen to this, you'll actually hear a clicking sound when this reaches the correct torque specification and it prevents over tightening. So as soon as you hear that pop, you will be unable to tighten the screw anymore. Now it does give you unlimited loosening, so it doesn't work in the opposite direction. You can turn as hard as you want when you're loosening the screw. But when you go to tighten this thing, it is going to stop you automatically once you reach the point where over tightening can cause damage to the internals on the phone or to the screw head itself. That is the only time I have seen this built into a driver that will work for cell phone repair. Now, this again is set to the factory specs for most phone manufacturers. If you want to change the torque settings, you just pop off the top here and, oh well, easier said than done. So you pop off the top and you can put a driver down inside here and adjust the torque settings. But I do not recommend that you do that because that will void the manufacturer's warranty on this wonderful driver. It is preset to 3.5 ncm which is newton centimeters and that's a unit of torque or energy equal to 0.01 newton meters or 0.026 foot pounds as precise as you're going to get when it comes to putting your screws in the way that they were intended to be installed by the phone's manufacturer now another brand that you might want to check out weha also makes excellent drivers it was a very close call i think between the two i had used some weha's before and then i got the weiras but overall, when I saw this driver, this is kind of the game changer. I mean, again, just probably overkill for a lot of people. But if you have a tool that you use every day and you want the best of the best, this is the answer, in my opinion. Again, I would encourage you to try this out. And if not, at least get some of their regular drivers. They are awesome. They're inexpensive. They're not ridiculously priced. This one, this is going to be a little on the pricey end. But these right here, they're not much more if, uh, if they are any more than the Weha's. And again, both Weha and Weira, great drivers, but in my opinion, the design of these just superior to anything that I've used so far. And I am happy to try new tools as, as often as I possibly can. Again, I uh, have a review here for the iFixit. Now they have a new set that they have released recently. I'll be checking that one out in the near future, but I'm also just collecting all sorts of drivers. And uh, here's a smaller kit you can get just of the drivers. Uh, this is the Casey set, and then we have, I don't even think this has a brand name associated with it, but there's all sorts of stuff out there. I will definitely be reviewing these, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more about cell phone tools and what is available. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews, and most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section, and thanks for watching.